My name is John Bartholomew. I would like to take a few minutes now to share with you a project I did for the Health Planning Council of Northeast Florida. Now the goal here was to have an easy, dynamic way of showing data interactively on their website. I'm drawing that data from police departments, uh, the health departments, social services. Um, I want to show you this because it really is this easy for you to do the same in your own communities and have compelling and engaging reports for your website. What you see here is an Excel spreadsheet. Very simply arranged. In this case we are covering seven counties of Florida. These are arranged in rows. And the indicators are arranged in columns. In this case each indicator has three time periods. Now in order to show this uh, on the web I need to use a tool called Instant Atlas Publisher which I'm going to launch now. Now I hit next and I have a choice of a number of templates each fulfilling a different type of purpose uh, of visualization. In this case I want to show a simple map with a table and a time series. So I'm going to choose the single map template and hit next. And now I choose a map file that matches the data that I wish to show. In this case this is a, an industry standard uh, county shape file of Florida. These shape files are available widely uh, on the internet. I'm going to make sure that the code fields that are in my shapefile coincide with the code fields that I'm using in Excel. This will assure that the map and the data will come together properly. This being the case, I will hit next. And at the beginning I create a demo data file just to make sure that the report is working in the technical way that I would like. I have a chance here of adding a contextual layer. What I'm going to do is take the surrounding Florida counties into my report to add a context. Click Next. Skip the step of background mapping which I don't need for this report. And give my layers each their own names. I'm going to call this Northeast Florida counties. And for the rest of Florida Just call it counties. Give my report a title, call this demo one. To match the styling and branding of the organization for which this report is destined, I'm going to take a green palette at the beginning. I can change this later. Hit next, choose a folder in which I'm going to put my report and publish. And in a few seconds, the report is created. I will unpack it into the same folder and take a first look at it. Now, what I can do in the meantime is pull up my Excel spreadsheet and prepare the data file with a special add in that comes with the software for Excel. I click on the button. This prepares the data file to put into my report and while that's happening I'm going to make sure that my report is functioning properly. Which it is. Now I get the signal for Excel that the data is ready. All being well, if I refresh my report now I should see my data being brought in and populating the different graphics and the map. And here you have it. Now I want to make some additional changes now. So I'm going to open the folder and take the configuration file into the Instant Atlas Designer. And looking at this, what we might want to do is reduce the size of the table, have a bigger map, Let's do that. So let's take the table first. We only have seven counties to cover. Let's move the bar chart into this little space here.
same with the time series. Of course, if one's a perfectionist, one could spend a long time on this, but the results, even with very quick strokes, can be quite staggering. Let's have a much bigger map. And I'm going to bring in um, a metadata box to include notes about my data. Put it down here. Let's change the default palette for the map to this red one. So let's take the red yellow default palette for the map. Let's do some other minor cosmetic changes. Take the background rectangle, make the outer border black, and the inner fill a light gray tone. And change the title of the report, for instance, to black as well. I can save that, refresh my report. And I have a, already a very appealing and attractive report created in five minutes that I could already give to my webmaster and put on my website. Let's look at, look at a particular indicator here, for example, in social and mental health, domestic violence. And let's see in this area where we have uh, the biggest issues. Here on the ranked bar chart, I can see that Duval County is up there at the top and mouse over and see that Nassau and St. John's um, have the lowest levels of domestic violence. It's as simple as that. Do go to our website, download the software, and try this for yourself with your data in Excel. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye.